Hello there World of Tankers, I'm Drudels Blitz, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about was World of Tanks Blitz in 2014 better than the current day of 2020? So if you like this video idea and you like the video in general, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It's just one simple click and it really does help out my channel. We are so close to reaching 10,000 subscribers. Of course, if you don't like my channel, there is no need to hit that subscribe button. But if you do like it, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. But in this video, as I said, I'm going to be comparing the old World of Tanks versus the new one, talking about all of the updates that have happened, what's better for the game, what is worse, and everything else like that. So make sure to stay tuned, and please let me know if you did learn anything new, or you like the new World of Tanks better, or the old one better in the comments down below. But the first big changes I'm going to be talking about are for the better of 2020. So if you were to look back at the early stages of World of Tanks when it first came out, there were a lot of things that you would be grateful are not currently in the game. The first one is the graphics. The graphics are way, way better in the current day than they were back then. Now, of course, this replay you're seeing here in my KV-2, the graphics are actually pretty decent. They're still not spectacular, but they're pretty good. And that's because in the last couple of years, Blitz has pretty much maxed out the amount of quality you can put into the game. And the reason for that being is because iPhones and just tablets don't have the mental capacity that a World of Tanks PC could run, or any PC at that. So if I play World of Tanks, of course, on my computer, yeah, it could run amazing graphics. But the issue is that for World of Tanks Blitz, you can't put the best graphics because this is a really big map. In fact, World of Tanks Blitz has some of the best graphics out of any mobile games I've seen in a while for the, you know, just the size of the game. So it's actually very, very good for Blitz. If you ever notice the wheels aren't round, that's because they're using polygonal tools, which makes it not take up as much storage as using round wheels. So there are a bunch of things that make the game run really well for you, and the graphics have gotten way better, but they're pretty much at a max right now, I feel, that you can really make unless they make some sort of new lossless compression algorithm. So graphics are definitely one thing that has gotten better over the years. The next thing is the matchmaker. I see a lot of people currently complaining about the matchmaker, but the old matchmaker was way, way worse. First of all, let's say I wanted to play a tier 1, and my friend wanted to play a tier 10. Well, no problem. In Old World of Tanks, you can do both. You can play a tier 1 in a tier 10 battle, and the enemy team can have a tier 10 with their platoon. Because in the older version, I think the matchmaker literally just threw the top tier into a normal game as if the platoon mate didn't even exist. So it would just throw a 1 and a 10 together, and the other team could have two tens. So you'd literally be down a teammate on one team. And that was definitely not fun if you had one of those players on your team. It was a lot of trolling going on because, first of all, you control and not have any consequences because you're just playing the tier 1. It's not like you're not playing the game. So there was a big issue at the current time. As well, you could shoot your friends. So not this time at 2017, but I think around 2015, you could have actually shot your friends in the butt if you wanted to. And that was not the best thing. World of Tanks PC even removed that. I think this year or last year they removed it, which was definitely for the better of World of Tanks PC as well. I don't know why it took them so long with all the trollers, but it's definitely smart that Blitz jumped on that train and took off the friendly fire really, really early when it came into the game. That's something that really, really helped because if, even if you pull out and your friend's shooting, you get hit by them, you're angry, you shoot them back, and then you're down two tanks because you're just going to be shooting each other for the next two minutes. And it's definitely something that should not be in the game. Friendly Fire, as much as I want to use it sometimes on my camping Sheridans and camping heavies, it's definitely for the better that it doesn't exist in the game. The next thing that Old World of Tanks definitely did not excel in was the fact that you could play in a tier 7 and play against tier 9s. You could play up to and minus 2 matchmaking. Now of course if you're minus 2, well that's really really good for you because you're going to be fighting against tier 4s. Or no, tier 5 should I say, which is going to be really easy. You're running a lupus against tier 5s, yeah, you're easily going to smash them, they're not even going to stand a chance. But the issue with that is lower tiers. First of all, when I per first started playing the game, I remember playing like an M3 Lee, not even an M3 Lee, it was like a tier 3 vehicle, and I was going up against a T1 Heavy, and this thing was just a monster. It would drive over the ridges on like mines, and just completely murder you, because you couldn't pen it even in the sides. And when it's only 7 versus 7, it's unlike World of Tanks PC, where it's 15 versus 15, I bet you Blitz really quickly caught on to that. They said, hey, there's not enough people to make a 357 template on 
uh, blitz because that's what the PC template is. So we're going to just make it that you can up one and minus one tier. I definitely would not want to play a Tiger 2 against like an E3. That just would not want to be super fun. So I'm very, very happy that World of Tanks Blitz. Now you can only play up one tier and minus one tier. The next thing that is way, way better for the game currently is the premium round reduction of damage. I remember when I first started playing the game, people would just spam premium everywhere. Now, of course, just as a good side note, premium rounds only cost gold, I'm pretty sure, when they first came into the game. That's why they are called gold rounds. If they weren't, well, they'd just be called premium. But when the game first came out, you could only buy premium rounds with gold. So that means only people that literally paid could win games better. And premium rounds did not lose in damage, but it was way better for the matchmaker because that meant that people weren't constantly spamming premium at everybody. You wouldn't have just tank destroyers with already 300 pen shooting 400 pen heat rounds. You didn't have to worry about that at that time. So that was one thing that was good. But the downside was that if you had a person that was spamming premium rounds, well, yeah, they're doing maximum damage. They're doing the same as their standard ammo, which is definitely not super fun. I think it's way, way better that premium rounds have a damage reduction. It stops people from spamming it as much. And people that shoot at my tank, if I'm in the same tank as them, let's say I'm at an IS-4 and I'm playing against an IS-4, well, if they're spamming premium rounds into my tank and I'm shooting AP into theirs, well, I'm going to come out on top because... I'm not needing the premium to pen their tank, I'm using more skill based, and they're using the sort of easy pen ability, but hey, they're going to lose on hit points in the end. So that is one thing that I definitely like on the older Blitz, and I like on the newer. So that's sort of like a yin-yang thing. But there are just so many things that old Blitz and the new Blitz have that are very, very different. The next big one is that actually old Blitz definitely had better premium tanks. Now what I mean by that is not better in the sense that they are better in games like the WC120, but just the fact that I remember way, way back when the IS-6 first came out, I was playing the game, this was before the IS-5, I'm pretty sure, and I was playing, and I didn't know what the IS-6 was, my friend got me it, you know, just as a gift, and I had no clue. But the IS-6 came into the game, and I thought it was just this cool-looking heavy tank because I didn't know much about the game then. I bought it, and I did decent in it, but it wasn't an overpowered tank. In fact, it only had a 175-pen gun. If you look at the stock gun on an IS-6, the stock gun on a WZ-112, which you can't put on anymore, stock gun on a KV-5, which you can put on, those were the guns that were originally placed on those tanks that you couldn't change. That was it. If you notice now, Blitz has umped up the penetration, they've umped up the heat rounds. That wasn't like that in 2015, 2016. You didn't have to worry about that. The gun literally did 175 pen against tier 8s. It's like running a T-34-3 gun on your IS-6, on your IS-5, all the ISs. And I definitely feel that that's how it should be. I think that most heavy tanks should not have 225 pen unless, of course, you're in a Tiger II because that's the point of getting a German tank. You've got that accuracy. You've got the penetration because you're a German. If you're running a Russian, you've got the damage. You lose the penetration. You lose the accuracy. So there's many things that Old Blitz as well was way better. And the fact that they didn't have overpowered premiums, the fact that they didn't have tier 10 vehicles that you could buy was way, way better than the current Blitz. The ability to buy a Smasher, to get a WZ-120, all these overpowered premiums that just flood the game, in my opinion, is not for the best. I really feel that it's just not helping the game. Now, of course, more and more people are coming into the game, and of course, they want to make more money, so they've introduced crates, which is definitely a huge, huge downfall compared to the old World of Tanks. But with the crates and with the new premiums coming in, the reason they probably do crates, not only because they make money, is because it limits the amount of overpowered premiums coming into the matchmaker. So the Smasher the first time it sold was for $35, and I said buy that thing, I'm pretty sure, immediately when I played the tank. But the Smasher, if it sold now for $35, it would completely sell out. I bet you the Blitz servers would almost crash so many people would be running that tank in the matchmaker. And while it would be complete cancer, that is why I'm pretty sure they put them in crates when they do come out, because they have to limit the numbers of the Smashers tremendously. As much as I hate crates, it honestly does make sense. I do not want 500 Smashers coming into the matchmaker. It is just going to ruin my day at Tier 8, Tier 7, and Tier 6. And yeah, goodbye. It's sort of like the T92s when they first came out. Yeah, it is a big issue. And the fact that the Smasher is one of the most played tanks on average 900 games is a little bit crazy, if you ask me. So that's one thing that I definitely liked about the old Blitz, is that the matchmaker was better, but yet it was worse. 
but overall, on my final opinion, there's definitely other things I haven't gone over about the old Blitz and the new one. Let me know in the comments down below if I missed anything super important. But I definitely feel that the old World of Tanks, while it was fun, while I do have fond memories, it is not better than the new World of Tanks. The graphics are better. The matchmaker is better. You can't play in a platoon and have five tier sevens on one team and have six tier sevens on one team on the other. And that wouldn't work out, of course. So there's many things that I definitely feel that World of Tanks Blitz currently is way better than the old Blitz. And there's a couple things that I liked better in the old World of Tanks, especially the non-excessive spam of premium tanks, but overall, I definitely think Blitz is headed for a good place, and I like the game the way it is. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, if you agree with my decision, or you think it absolutely sucks, if you like the old days better. But other than that, guys, as I said in the beginning, if you're not subscribed already, please make sure to do so if you did like this video. Of course, if you didn't, well, hit that down vote button. Let me know why it sucked in the comments down below. But other than that, guys, I hope you're all happy and healthy out there, and I'll see you in the next one.